Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. In today's video we're going to be doing, once again, Final Boss Escanor, but this time I was able to get top 3%. So I'm going to show you the team I used, which was the Goddess team here with, of course, LR Margaret, Red Tamiya, LR Liz, and then we going back. If you're wondering what gear sets we got on everyone, let me show you quickly. HP defense, HP defense, HP defense, and then some uh, perfect SR HP defense gear that we got from the boxes. So, card set also is the basic stuff for goddesses, and we're running attack food with these oaths as well. <clears throat> okay, so this team, I'll, I'll explain more in detail when we actually play it, but uh, this team is a little bit RNG based in terms of, you can get a lot of points quite easily, but you can also get screwed over quite easily as well because of course you've got a lot of buffs and then over rupture. To get the most amount of points, you want to end on a Margaret ult when Escanor has quite a few buffs on him because of course uh, her grace gives her basically um, extra, she deals extra damage, or she gets extra attack when she attacks an enemy that has buffs. And also you want to have a Golden Margaret buff as well. If possible, somehow a Golden Tarmiel buff, which is extremely unlikely, but if you can, that's even better as well. And you'll uh, also want to max out everybody's passive in the process as well. Uh, when I got my insane 7k run, I, I hit 2 mil with her ult, uh, and I was running no food at all. Anyway, uh, let's get into it. Here we go. Final boss all time. So turn 1, so it will take you like 10 turns. You normally end up finishing on like the 10th turn with this team. Basically, I want to get as many Margaret buffs as possible, so I'm going to use basically every other buff skill other than Margaret's, because I want to keep Margaret's buff skill. Uh, Liz, you also want to max out Liz's passive quite quickly, removing as many buffs as possible as well for the, uh, what do you call it now? For the challenge, which is like, remove buffs and you get X amount of, uh, extra points. It's fine. I think this turn I'm just going to waste a lot of these skills. I'm also going to take him into the low range as well. So I'll do this, this. Uh, and I'm actually then going to play this as well for the extra defense. So this second hit should take it into the... Yeah, there we go. Now he's in the immortal phase, which is fine. Gives us a little bit extra uh, time to sort of get a few more buff skills. Get a little bit more of Liz's passive and Margaret's passive going. Preferably I'd want more attack skills here, but I can't actually deal damage next turn, which is completely fine, so I'll just waste a lot, all of these skills, or as many of the skills as I possibly can. Yeah, Liz is going to take a little bit of damage, but that's completely fine. Uh, we are going to buff up, and then we'll waste both of these. A fan space, we've got, also got Margaret Tolt as well, which is nice. Also, the way you want to end is that uh, you want to pop Liz's ult and Margaret's ult, but I think it's the second phase has ult removal. And level 1 removes 1 ult gauge, level 2 removes 2 ult gauge, level 3 removes 3 ult gauge. So it's sort of a little bit irritating, especially if he keeps pulling level 3s, which is which happened to me uh, when I was actually going to have a good run. It's quite RNG based, but if you get lucky, you can actually get quite a good run. That's completely fine. Don't mind taking all this damage. Did derank my skill, which is, you know, lovely. Love it when it deranks. Um, we'll do this, and then we'll do this. Get some more damage dealt. This will of course heal me, give me a stack of Liz's passive, this will give me another stack, and then now we're on to the uh, second phase. So the problem with this second phase is that immediately you're ult sealed, uh, for two turns. Ult sealed and ult gauge your actual sealed as well. Uh, we will do this, and then we'll just double buff, just to get rid of it, hand space really. Also, I'm pretty sure this should max out Margaret's passive, if it isn't maxed already. Uh, do need to max out Tom Meals, I'm pretty sure still. Which is, of course, a little bit RNG based because I can't actually max out myself. As you can see, RNG wise, we've been really unlucky with Margaret buffs, which is unfortunately something that can happen. That's a level 2, okay? Bye bye, my ultimates. And he pulls a golden skill. He goes for Margaret, which is fine. Doesn't bother me. You can go for Margaret. Like, you, you have to be, like, joking, alright? Like, this is, like, it's comedic at this point. You're actually just giving me a bunch of other skills other than the goddamn Margaret skill I need. Give me uh, the other golden Margaret skill instead. Don't want to doing too much. When you get below 50%, it gets 50% more lifesteal, which is fine. Like, this is a joke. Like, where I've not had a single Margaret skill since, like, the second turn. Oh, and now we're Revolt Gauge once again. Over Rupture. That is fine. What I might end up doing is we buff up here and then we do this 
So we're doing this because he's going to ult next turn. He's going to do a lot of damage with the ult. So I kind of want to heal a lot here. What turn are we on? Okay, we still got, we still got a little bit of time to play with. Yeah, I get debuffed. He's got old Liz. That's completely fine. L Liz will just face tank it, which is lovely. Once again, she'll face tank this as well. She should heal quite a nice chunk because of her own passive, of course. Um, and now we're at sort of a slight problem. He's going to over rupture, and I've just got to hope he doesn't kill Liz. Because I have to buff with, with Margaret here, so I can actually get Margaret's ultimate. If I attack. Yeah, this is like the oh, I need level two. Okay, this is the problem with this boss, is that like you really want like a if a golden skill with Liz will actually save you. How many turns have I got left? Literally got like one turn after this. Nice. Okay, so playing a single Liz skill will give me what I need because they'll give me the Liz one. I just move this. I actually want him to have all those buffs, so make sure I've got everything. Got her all, got this. Um, actually, I'm also going to pop Margaret's buff skill, now I think about it. So what this will then do is, once again, it'll refresh my buff, but it also means I don't have to play it next turn, which is probably the key thing, is I don't want to have to play it next turn. So I have to kill next turn. I have to kill this turn. So he's going to buff up, which is good. I uh, don't think he has ult drain this turn. Hopefully, I don't think he does ult drain two turns in a row. I think I think he, I think he can only do ult drain once every two turns. So now what we can do is we can ult, we can then buff up again because those two buffs are different. Make sure we have max Liz passive. I'm pretty sure we do. Five, five, five. Cool. And then we just ult. And because he's got a lot of buffs, uh, Margaret's course is going to do ult quite a bit more damage. Also, I also have Margaret six six, <laughs> which is another quite a big uh, difference here. There you go, 2.5 million. <laughs> That's the highest I've hit. I might even reach my max, my uh, high score here. Margaret, once again, insane. Her ultimate is really good, and the fact that he can be debuffed as well. Okay, just under. I think that's because I think last time I had like a golden... I think I had a golden uh, Liz buff, so maybe that gave me a little bit more. But as you can see, 6.9k with quite a bad run. If I could have got a gold... If you can get a golden Margaret buff, you can probably get like... I reckon over 7.5, because of course you get a lot of basic stats from it as well. But that's probably like at least like top 4, top 5% maybe, which is quite easy. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. See you in the next one. Goodbye.